how to survive winter in Calgary? I know a lot of you guys are asking this question. What of you, especially from Ontario and even from British Columbia, are asking me, hey Igor, I'm planning to move to Calgary, but it's cold and it sucks and you have a lot of snow and a lot of winter. It's way better where I am in Canada. And how do you survive winter in Calgary? Well, this video is made for anyone who is planning to move here, guys. I want to say that first of all the funniest situation about this winter like look what's happening right now <laughs> okay this was not there half a day ago literally guys um, what happened yesterday is it was the sunniest day about one plus one degree windy sun absolutely no snow left nothing uh, literally you go to Costco right now and everything is uh, like gardening season is starting already here so people are selling boats people are selling different decorations for the outdoor for your housing and then by the evening the sun disappears like there was not a single cloud in the sky and it starts to snow like this there are cars in the ditches people crashing on the roads and it's just a nightmare because you know guess what in a couple of days with not having snow in Calgary, every driver in Calgary, in Alberta, forgets how to drive and then everyone crashes on the road. Even when with winter tires, no winter tires, just like, it's a tradition. It's just a tradition that, unfortunately, in Calgary, we, we have to crash your car the first time it snows. If there is a break from snowing for a week or two and it snows again, uh, yeah, somebody has to crash their car. So anyways, it's, it's, it's my humor, guys. How do you survive this kind of winter? Well, first of all, it comes in like this unexpectedly and it goes away as fast as well. It's not Edmonton, it's not Northern Alberta, it's not Saskatchewan, guys, where it gets, and here are some noises from that side of the road, where it's when it starts snowing, it snows forever. And here we have what is called Chinook. So first of all, I want to say, guys, I'm just taking the opportunity to record this video while it is snowing to show you how bad Calgary is so that you don't move here because the housing prices are already sort of through the roof to scare you off. But in reality, it's going to probably stop, stop snowing in a day or two. I mean, the, prog pro the, pro the, the forecast uh, for tomorrow and after tomorrow it's supposed to snow but again the forecast is going to probably change by the end of today and might not snow until the summer anymore and might snow in the summer so the weather here is unpredictable and it just comes like this it's not really cold right now it just feels like minus 20 only but really it's like minus nine in calgary people are still cycling in this kind of weather you're going to find out that calgarians are pretty nuts in that way so in that way it comes in unexpectedly and then it warms up everything melts up within a week so the weather here in calgary is completely different than what you probably used in different other provinces because we have chinook a hot wind coming in and essentially it snows like this for a while i shoot a video i scare off people say don't move here it's it's horrible it's cold and it's snowing stay in ontario and then i shut down the video because then sun comes out and everything is melting so what's cool about this city guys is that it melts pretty fast <laughs> and it is kind of beautiful right now i cannot see nothing it's too white uh, that's why you see me wearing sunglasses on this channel a lot another fun fact about calgary guys it's the sunniest province of of canada so we have a lot of sun in that way guys and uh, i want to say that it's not really cold it's not that bad it just melts so fast the only thing you have to be ready guys if you're planning to move to calgary is that you see this kind of weather you turn on your heater in the car when you're let's say in the morning you're driving to work it's you know a lot of people who moved here already are continuously guys from this channel are already quoting me because i said it so many times in the morning you have a heater in your car and most importantly you have to stock up on coffee oh it's just a blessing to survive here and you turn on the ac in the in the, in the afternoon when you're going back from work just because it gets hot so in that way guys yeah I, I like to publish such a shocking video when it's all of a sudden starts snow snowing on social media that everyone freaks out though like, i'm no way moving to calgary good i'm going to ke keep the housing cheaper here but at the same time guys it's all uh, it's all a joke it's not really we don't have severe cases of winter i mean we do have uh, it happens we had like a couple of weeks of minus 40 here even this year every year we have that guys so it gets really really cold it gets so cold for those couple of weeks where you cannot describe it 
uh, in English. You have to swear in Russian to describe the weather, how, how it is. It's like you come out and there is nothing positive that you can say from your mouth uh, in the worst language that, uh, like in, in your mother tongue that you speak, you're going to just swear a little bit because that's how cold it gets. But luckily it just stays like that for about usually two weeks in a year. And then again, it's awesome, guys. It's not bad. Alberta is amazing, especially Calgary with all the Chinook weathers. In order to survive this kind of weather, how do you survive if you plan to move? Dress up in layers yeah, because, you know, you need more layers when it gets colder or sudden. Look, it's already heating up. I, you, you, you like, look, guys, this thing is coming out already. The sun is coming out already. I can already sense the heat coming from that. Even maybe I, you don't see it properly on the camera. Look, it's coming out and I don't have my sunglasses. I'm going to go blind with the snow. Like it's like in the mountains, literally. Everything is just white. Cannot see nothing. It's too, too bright for me. But anyways, guys, if you're planning to move, how to survive this kind of winter, guys? I'll tell you this. This winter, I drove the entire winter on all season tires and I'm still alive and it's still fine. Uh, I would still recommend... Oh, oh, I just almost killed myself. I want to show you how it happened. Uh, how do I how do I put my camera down? See, this is called like you don't even see this ice. It's called black ice. Nothing nothing racist about this ice. It's just that whoever named it, they named it like that. Yeah, where I come from, we don't have such a we just call it ice. We don't have a term for a bad ice to be black ice for, but it's considered to be invisible ice. Anyways, guys, so. Yeah, it, it, it's fine. I want to tell you about myself. I got acclimat acclimatized to this climate so much. I am wearing my summer jogging pant. I am wearing my summer office shoes. I don't have any kind of thermals underneath. The only uh, thermal is my jacket, and I don't even have wear a hat of mine when it gets minus, feels like minus 20 with wind a lot of times now. So I got used to this kind of weather. But I would recommend if you're coming from a tropical country or you're even coming from the country where I came from before I got used to Canada, multiple layers, thermal, thermal pants, thermal everything. I still do wear all of that when it gets like minus 40, then it's just no fun. So wear a hat, dress up in layers, get some nice moreno, moreno wool socks. You can get some ordered in woven ones are way better and waterproof shoes if you can and guys it's all about how you dress up it's actually really really beautiful and honestly guys calgary is amazing and uh, yeah a lot of people already realized that unfortunately the housing market started skyrocketing i'm still running around for a bunch of my clients right now guys i'm a realtor with xp Realty right now showing houses and everything is getting sold and multiple offers so fast and yeah i guess i i you know i contributed to advertising calgary too much for the past six years people discovered it and not only me other youtubers followed along and now everyone has started moving here because it's actually uh, people are saying it's been warmer here this year than it was in ontario and even last year people were telling me the same thing but let me show you how beautiful it is right now guys check this out look at this community it's beautiful <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends, and of course, don't move to Calgary. It's cold in here. It sucks. It's horrible. I want to stay in Ontario. Oh my goodness, guys. I cannot believe what actually happened to Ontario. I used to live there. You know, I used to say how, how much I like Calgary so much, but since I left Ontario in 2014, guys... The stories you tell me, the things I see, what's going on. Oh my goodness, is it even still Canada? Ontario became so unaffordable. I'm just looking at all the horror stories from everyone coming from there to Calgary. Is it true, guys? Let me know in the comments down below because I think I made the right choice. I, I ran away in the right time. See you in the next video, guys. Hey guys, see you in Calgary.